Hello everyone, I'm Mladish, and now we're here, Country, Bumpkin, Yotaka for a PC. So, the game is developed by Otakuchi Field and uh, published by Kagura Games. It looks like this, like, uh, another, this developer already had another game that, uh, I, now I don't remember the name, but it was almost, say, almost the same thing as this one. So, I don't know if this is like a, a sequel or it's uh, in the same... Uh, uh, you know, universe of, of the first one, I don't know very well, but it's very similar to the previous one. So, you already know, like, how it works in the Kagura, ga Kagura games. You need to go, if you want to get all the content, you need to go to their website and download the uncensored patch that is uh, free, that you can get. Uh, so, if you want to get, you know, the sexy stuff uh, and uh, more content than the sensor version as you need to go to their website and download the patch for free all right so let us start uh, take out the mouse of course this is coco village a small town at the foot of the mountains it's a peaceful place as peaceful as they get in fact but it's not frozen in time and the end of july is almost here yutaka you and kin are here already what but i'm not ready yet didn't you prepare your stuff last night i'm still on it well, that's good, but anyway, we can't have your friends be late. Is it okay if they go ahead first? Yeah, okay. Of course, it was RPG Maker, but I think this one is like MV. I think it's like that. There you go, guys. I'm sorry. Yutaka needs time to, to, to worry up. It's no problem, man. We'll be going then. Time pass. 10 minutes later. No, my friends are not here. Shoot, I got to hurry, or I'll be late for the morning lectures. Head for the university, exit top left, chop chop. When? Over here. Damn, that was a close call, I barely made it. Ah, wait! Who the fuck is that guy? Head to the lecture room, quick. Talk to all your friends. Good morning, Miss Yutaka. Morning, Kim. Sorry I wasn't ready when you guys came by. There's absolutely no need to apologize, Miss Yutaka. I get some really weird vibes from Mokan today. Huh. Hey, Mokan. Morning. Morning. What happened to you? You are kinda scary today. Bah. Who we'll dropped this uh, briefcase over here? What? Oh, Yutaka, you made it in time. Thank you, sorry I wasn't ready when you guys came by. Don't worry about it. Is everyone here? Good. Time to start the lecture. It's final time for your summer break, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. It's not that many students. Jesus. What are you guys talking about? We are making plans for today. We? I'm the one coming up with the plan, as always. Come with us, Yutaka. Let's hang out until you have to leave. Well, the train's in the evening, and I got tons of time till then. Heck yeah, let's do this. Great, let me explain my brilliant plan then. Call it, let's get to the confiscated items back from the mayor heist. Why would you give it a long name like that? It's just the entire plan, but with the word heist at the end. <clears throat> Names make plans easier to understand. Did he confiscate something from you too? Yeah, he keeps taking anything remotely far because he need to learn from harsh realities. Yes, I shall explain today's plan. Today we'll escape toward Coco Shrine. The mayor to hold on frail to follow us up those stairs, and we'll, he will drop the chase very quickly. That's as brilliant as it is ruthless, Kino. <laughs> Wait, I think there's a ton of strange weeds growing there, though. Indeed, that's why we have to find a way to get rid of those weeds before we can move ahead with the plan. But I have a special plan for that, too. Leave it to me. Heck yeah. You take care of them weeds, then. Anyway, let's split up and meet again at stairs to the shrine. Yes, yeah, sir! And just like that, the last day of the spring semester is over. I'm home! Welcome back. Now I'm gonna meet with Kino and Gyu. What? No? Well, I suppose it's still a while till we have to catch our train. I'm sure it'll be fine, but make sure you come back by 3pm, okay? Okay, I'm gonna drop these printouts and go out. And don't get hurt. Yeah, yeah, I won't. Bye! Wait, does she even carry a watch? I'm meeting with Kinagyu at the stairs uh, to the shrine. I should just north uh, and I'll be there in the chiffy. Wait, what if they are not there yet? Oh, I'm so pumped for this uh, and I don't even know why. 
Head to the northern part of the map and find stairs that connect the town to the shrine. It's cactus. What the fuck? Dang, I knew it. They're not here yet. Hey, I could take a walk and talk to people while I, while I, while I wait. Why I wait? It should be while I wait. Pass the time by talking to people with an exclamation point. It's so small. Yutaka. Oh, oh, shoot. Now that's just plain rules. Just come and get your health checkup done. Uh, but I don't like hospitals. It'll be over before you know it. It's not like I need to give you an exchange or anything. Well, how does tomorrow morning sound? I'll be waiting for you. I won't be here tomorrow. And why do you sound so proud of that? Fine. Make sure you come see me when you're back then. Fine. As long as you'll come see me. Oh, Mr. Camera. Mr. Camera. What? I don't think I ever seen you outside. Uh, oh, hello, Yutaka. You, you sure never change, huh? Never been photogenic and never will. Hey, I'm plenty genic. Thank you very much. What are you going? What are you doing outside anyway? It's complicated. I'm starting to doubt my life choice and wondering why I why did I even open the studio here? What do you mean? Why? It's to take pictures, right? At the most basic level, yes, I suppose. Okay. Very weird that conversation. Uh, it's the mayor. Yutaka, hey, stop right there. What do you want? I'm in a hurry. Do you have any idea how hard I've worked for Coco? I haven't had a prefer since the media picked up on the rumor about the buried treasure. All the stress made me lose the last of my hair too. Fine, fine. I'll come here the rest another time. I gotta go now. Another time. Is there someone in here? Oh. So we go down. There's this guy. Only residents can come in. Go play somewhere else. They are fixing the house with the blue roof. I think someone's gonna move in soon. I'm gonna have neighbors there. I can't wait to meet them. Hey, you talk running errands again? No, nope, I'm meeting my friends today. So you don't have money you, on you again, huh? Shoo. Sure. No window shopping here. Window shop, uh, window shopping. <laughs> hey, Yutaka, you here to take a bath? Sorry, we ain't open yet. You'll have to come back later. I bet you want Kina Ray now. Let's hit the shrine. Head to the northern part of the map. Okay. I already put that co that thing to run automatically, like that. You don't need to press shift. The typical of RPG makers. Uh, it seems the team has finally assembled, then as Bruce agree, let's get rid of these strange weeds. Yeah, sure, but how? I've tried yanking them out, but they are just too strong. Come on, tell us already if you know how to do it. Patience, Mr. Giyu. See, I had to seek the assistance of a true expert for this matter, the professor. You lie, the professor lives near Coco Mountain. You can't even get over there because of the woods. How in the world did you ask him then, huh? Mr. Giyu. Have you ever heard of a certain great invention? It's been all the rage in the last decade. It's called the telephone. Oh yeah, right. Of course you called him. <laughs> See, telephones are a complex system that allows you to have a conversation with someone else across a great distance. The sound goes along the wire sound. You don't have to explain how phones work. Well, what did the professor tell you? He told me a very p peculiar thing, that these plants are quite sensitive to smell. So here we finally are, Mr. Yutaka. I present to you... Stinky stick. Go ahead, test it out. Try and slash the plant with your new family up on. Q. <laughs> Whoa, it really worked. We can get through now. I knew the plant professor Intel would be priceless. It worked like a charm. Huh? The stinky stick has broken. Ah, it appears to stick, I also was a bit too flimsy, it already snapped in half. Now that we've secured an escape route, I think it's time we go to the mayor's house. Oh yeah, heck yeah, let's go! Everything's in place and the two heads for the mayor's house. Try, they tried to sneak inside through the garden back door. Please hurry up, you two. 
Yeah, I know, but you said you wanted to climb over first. Only because you insist on going first yourself. Let's leave the blame game for the, the briefing. We must make sure the mayor doesn't see or hear us. Let us be as quiet as we are swift. Alright, here we go. What the hell are those blue things? Easy. Very well done, Miss Yutaka. A born athlete. Alright, my turn now. The hero is always late, right? Uh, <laughs> false. Face plant. Alright, easy. You must be you may be strong, Mr. Gear, but you sure like grace. Yeah, you better make it over the wallow every time. Shut up, I made it inside, didn't I? Then it's fine. I will not spoot that. Well then. The infiltration mission begins here. Don't make a sound, no. Heck yeah. Yes sir. Shh. Alright, you tag, I'll go find those items. Okay, I'll be right back. You sneaking in my house again? Oh, shoot. Run! Damn, we run fast. Miss Yutaka, you're so fast. Ah, ow. Got you. Q. Mr. Q has fallen in battle. We are out of time. Let's at least save ourselves. Run to the shrine. Ah! Huh? I run and run without even looking back. I run so far I end up inside the shrine. I hope Kiru made it, and I'm super worried about Kiru too. The mayor looked really pissed. I should go back and see. Oh, did you just come out of the shrine? Uh, hey Grams, who are you? I'm the priest of the shrine. And what's a priest? Haha, <laughs> to put it in my work here. Huh, weird. I never seen you before Grams. I really thought I knew everyone from around here. If I'm not mistaken, you are a Yutaka Khan, right? You are the one who found this once lost shrine. Huh? You know about me? Well, you were quite famous, you know. You explored these woods, a place people generally avoided, and found the shrine all on your own. A real achievement. Eh, yeah, it was alright, but the shrine was a ruin and broken when I found it. People worked very hard since then to fix the damage and open it up again. The repairs ended just uh, this spring, hopefully, three years after you rediscovered it. Oh yeah, you're right. The place was closed for repairs for a super long time. It got fixed before I graduated. Look at me. I'm really glad someone as nice as you found it. I'm sure even our god is very happy about it. God, what god? Why, the god of Coco Shrine. Of course, he always looks over the good people of Coco, you know? So if you are a good person, good things might happen. Oh, cool. What kind of uh, good things? Well, what do you like, Yutaka? Since you climbed all those stairs to reach the shrine, why don't you pray for something and make you wish? Mm, nope, I'm good. I think I'll come uh, and thank the god when something good happens instead. Sounds more right. Uh, you are a wise one, Yutaka. Alright, Gramps, do you know Kinu? He's my friend. We got separated a while ago. I'm looking for him. Kinu, yes. Try crossing the bridge over there. I think you'll find him near that building with the lanterns. Oh, thank you, Gramps. See you later. You'll always find me around here. Goodbye. Pray to ask for something. Bah! Nonsense. I don't need to pray to no god. All I need to make things right is to find the damn treasure buried in these woods. If I want something, I'll make it happen myself. Mokan, what are you doing here? Hmm, that's absolutely none of your business. Oh, alright, sorry. Are we done here? If so, leave me alone. Okay, see ya. So, this one wants to find the treasure. Miss Yutake, I've been looking all over for you. Kinu, there you are. Where have you been? You disappeared ahead of me, and I was getting mighty worried. Ah, uh, you know I'm fastest running in all of Coco anyway. I was just talking to the shrines, Mr. Priest. A uh, priest? Uh, okay, anyway, I'm glad to see you're fine. So, what happened to Giyu? He was caught, unfortunately. I'm sure the mayor is talking his ears off right now. Uh, I feel really bad for him now. So, hey, since he's not let him go for a while, why don't we wait for him at the park? Yes, that's a good idea. He'll want to meet us there too. Yeah, that's our spot. Let's play there and wait for him. You take our king, you know, hang out at the park, waiting for the mayor to be done with his speech and finally set Giyu free. It does take quite a while though. Does it say how much time it passed? No. Yutaka Khan is a mischievous rascal, full of curiosity and with plenty of energy to spare, which she spends running around and trying all sorts of things. She is also the protagonist of this story. She keeps her hair short because she finds it more comfortable. She'll graduate from the local university in coming spring. Her adventure begins now. So that was like a, a prologue. Yutaka left Koko with Aya. 
roughly a month has passed since then. Next stop, Coco. Next stop, Coco. Please exit the train from the left side. Make sure you collect your luggage before leaving. What the hell is this? Cake. Ha, I'm finally here. It's been a while, Coco. I wonder if Yutaka has grown a little since I left. Alright, Mom and Yutaka are still at Grandma's house. They'll be back with the evening train. I guess I'll take a walk around town while I wait for them. I'm really curious to see what changed here while I was gone. So this uh, someone that they know or it's a daughter of uh, uh, Ike, Aya or something like that? I wonder. Everyone is like, oh, who is this? Hello, hello. She's going to the shrine. A lot of holes, what the hell? That that person is really trying to discover the, the treasure. Cake walks around town for the first time after many years. I'm home. Right, I'm the only one here for now. So she has to be uh, a daughter from Aya, you know, sister of uh, Yutaka. It has to be, right? Because if she says I'm home, it's because it belongs in here. My old room. Wow, well, mom's been keeping it spotless. Uh, right, I almost forgot. Maybe my dyed brown hair are a bit much for this town. I probably stick out like a sore thumb. I'm pretty sure I was drawing a lot of eyes while, as I walk around. I'll turn to my original call while I wait for mom and Yutaka. That evening, after spending a month away, Yutaka finally returns to Coco. Hmm. Oh, I missed you, Coco. It feels so much longer than just a month. Well, now I'm back. Granny's town is fun too, but Coco's just so familiar to me. Can't beat it. I feel so at ease here. Well, the sun's are setting already. I should head straight home. My mom said that sea's already arrived early today. So there you go. It's time to go back home at long last. It's the white one with the red roof, in case you have forgotten. You obtained summer sand achievement. Okay. Where's the sister? Sister, she already changed the era and everything. I'm back. Oh, he sees. Good to see you. Yutaka? Yep. Well, are you surprised? Uh, glad to see you are still the same old Yutaka inside. Heck yeah, and you too. You are just like I remember you. Of course, I'll always be me. Hmm? Where's mom? Did she stop by the convenience store? Ah, uh, she got a call. She'll make the trip when she's better. Summer calls are such a bother. I hope she gets better soon. Oh, she said it was nothing serious. I'm sure she'll be better in no time at all. Oh, and she told me to tell you to take care of me. Got it? Oh, did it say that? Ah, that orange scrunchie. I always carry it with me as a lucky charm, but since I let my hair grow while at Granny's house, I decided to actually use it. What do you think? It looks great, right? It really does. Come on now, let's have a dinner. Aren't you hungry? What? You can cook too? Of course I can. Do I have to remind you that I left home four years ago? Yutaka was so tired from the trip that she fell asleep right after dinner and slept through the night. Then the next morning. Hello? Coming? You can't even see what is in there. Oh, are you friends of Yutaka? Good morning. Good morning. I knew it. Did you guys make plans to hang out so early in the morning? Sounds like fun. Unfortunately, Yutaka is still asleep. I'm sorry. You go ahead. Okay, of course. Yutaka, wake up. Yutaka. She's like, oh. I sleep with my clothes on immediately. Wake up already. Mm -hmm. Hey sis, what's wrong? You have to go to the university today. What? But the printout sale actually start on Monday. I don't know, that's what you told me yesterday, but two of your friends just showed up to pick you up and live together. Gyo and Kino. But it makes no sense, it's Saturday. Get that printout, read it again. Ah, uh, it says lecture start on Monday, but they are holding the opening ceremony today. Oh, you talk. You should read it over more carefully. I'm gonna be late. I gotta go, sis. Okay, be careful. Okay. 
And so, Yutaka overslept a bit on the first morning of the new semester after summer break. She leaves the house in a hurry, rushing toward her university like many times before. Only there's one big difference compared to all those times. A very unique morning is about to unfold. That had to be cake, right? Good morning everyone, how was your summer? Did you have fun? Let's get the new semester started. Hmm? Where is Yutaka? She overslept. Oh, well, late on the first lecture. That was close, I made it just in time. It's time to catch up with your friends, let's see what they have to say. Yo, how have you been? I miss you, Taka. I've been well, thank you. You don't look so great right now, I assure you, I'm in a perfect health. Yeah, well, that's great. So anyway, I got nothing planned after lectures, so we should really hang out and do something. Uh, today's a bit, I'm sorry, I left refuse. This afternoon I got to work. Uh, alright. Looks like no one wants to hang out today. Huh, that's new. Guess I'll go home. Hey, Moshan. Good to see you. What's wrong with you? Huh? Why are you so angry? I'm not angry, I'm busy. Just you wait. Uh, it's gonna be my time to shine when I find that buried treasure. Yep, she's totally angry. Thought I don't know what I did. Actually, I don't think I did anything wrong. Okay, so it's a girl. Moshan is a girl. In the end, Yutaka was unable to make plans with anyone. The events of that day made her extremely worried. What if the month she spent away had been enough to end all her friendships? She walks home, her worries waiting heavily on her mind. After dinner. Thanks for cooking, sis. You've been down ever since coming back from the university, and you came home so early too. Did you fight with your friends? Ah, uh, you see, Yutaka takes her time and explains Keiko how everyone seemed to act weird, and how it make her feel. Hmm, I'm glad you didn't have a fight at least, but I'm afraid I don't know enough to help you figure out what the problem is. Oh, I don't know what happened, but I know what you should do. What? Really? Yep, there's only one solution. But lucky for you, it's an easy one. You have to ask your friends directly. Nothing will come out of it if you keep on worrying about it on your own. You have to act. Keiko offers a solution that comes from her own memories. She had to deal with something just like this years ago. But what if they hate me now? You know them best, so let me ask you something. Do you think they are kind of people who should start hating someone for no reason at all? Uh, no, they are all very nice. Then. Everything will be fine. You have to trust your friends, especially at times like this. I'm sure there is a reason for how they acted. You just have to find the cause to ask them. Yeah, okay. They have been my good friends since forever. I'm gonna ask them what happened. Yes, be brave and just ask them. And who knows, maybe it will turn out to be just a misunderstanding. Or something silly that seems like just a big problem in their minds. Okay, got it. Thank you so much, sis. Yutaka makes her mind. She decides she's gonna ask her friends why they acted so weird around her tomorrow. Sunday, the best day of the week, perfect weather too. I'm sure I'm gonna find someone playing outside. Giyu Kinu or Yowashi. Find your friends somewhere in town. It's time to talk to them and fix this. Oh, I, didn't, I don't want to enter in there. Cannot go this way. Where the hell are my friends? Oh, there is Chiu over here. Ah, that's finally solved. Thank God, let's go home. It's time to go home. You don't even know what, uh, how it was solved. Damn. Uh, uh, talk to sister. Welcome back. Totally. Uh, it was just as you say, sis. It was something silly in the end. I was overthinking like crazy. That's great to hear. Uh, before I forget, the new the new neighbors came by to introduce themselves just a few minutes ago. They move in next door. They are already gone. Yep. They dropped up. Uh, they dropped by for a bit while you were out. There was a guy around your age too. I think he might be going to the same university with you. Ah, great. The specter of the friendship had disappeared into the thin air. It was. Yet another peaceful Sunday for little Coco. The next morning. Okay, I'm going. Yeah, have a good day. 
What's wrong, sis? You don't look so good. Uh, maybe I do feel a bit off today, but I'll be alright. I just need to lie down for a minute or two, and I'll be okay. Gotcha. Yeah, catch some rest. Don't push it. Thank you, Taka. No, off you go. Don't be late because of me. Okay. Wait a sec, what's that? Everyone, seated? Good. Where's Mochan? She's not coming today, I got a phone call earlier. Okay, I wonder what's happened. I wasn't told why, but it's probably a cold, right? Okay, it's time to introduce a new transfer. He came from the university in Central City. Make sure you help him feel welcome, alright? Yes! Well then, sorry to drop this on your lap like this, Yutaka, but why don't you show Maru around town a bit? Sure thing, I don't mind. Gotcha, well, let's go then, Maru. My name is Yutaka. Nice to meet you. We don't even know what the hell was on the chat. Alright, I have to drop something in my home first, so let's meet in a few minutes in front of my house. Mosaki is digging holes around the shrine. Uh, I'm never gonna f give up. Dad told me he came here three years ago to write an article and he swore there was something off with this place. They call him a hack journalist and a liar because of that piece. But I know Dad will never lie. I'm gonna find the buried trash and prove he was right all along. Well, she found something. Could this be it? It's a box. He 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 he. I've done it. I've finally done it. I knew Dad will never lie. And I'll get back to all the tons folk who treated it as a baseless room or two. Let's open it and see what this was all about. Yep. What's going on? What's happening? This ball of light. Is this a treasure? I'm home. Yutaka, can you come here a sec? Huh? Sis? Sis, did you get bad? Is it actually cold? No, it's gotten worse. Oh no, I'm gonna call the doctor. The eyes are different, what the hell? No, it's not like that, it's not like I feel really sick though, it's different. Huh? What is it then? It's the same thing that happened to me two years ago, remember? And what did you do to make it go away? Are you sure we didn't get to the doctor? We looked into it ourselves and we made a special medicine, but I don't think you can find those sim ingredients in Coco. Uh, we should make what mom made when we got, we get the call then. Yes, that Asian remedy that Coco people always use. It comes in form of a soap. If you could make it that for me. What are the ingredients though? I think mom went to grab at least one of them at the mountain, but I don't know. It's an ancient cocoa remedy, so I'm sure the mayor knows more about it. Can you go ask him for me? Gotcha, leave everything to me, sis. He's just dressed up, okay? I'm going to ask the mayor and find out what to do. Thank you so much, Yutak. I'm counting on you. Yeah, I'll make that man and make you all better. And that's how Yutak came back. So I'm just to find the greens for the secret remedy and help her sister. Part 1. Keiko's Hill? Cocoa Big Medicine Scavenge Hunt? But first things first, what, are, what even are the ingredients? Time to pay to, to Mayor visit and ask the local expert himself. Oh, this guy is over here. Alright, I'm gonna ask the Mayor about that soup. She doesn't even care. Wait, Miss Yutaka, please don't leave me here. Oh, you need to talk to him. Oh, hey, Mayor, what are you doing here? You were going to show me around, Coco. Ah, uh, I'm just kidding. You are too serious, Maru. Oh, it was a joke. Sorry, you scared me a bit. I'm gonna search in greens for my sister's medicine while I show you around town. Let's go. Medicine? Is your sister sick, Miss Yutaka? Are you sure you should be showing me around then? Yeah, it's totally fine. She's not doing that bad, don't worry. She's not a, so not a cold, but some strange illness. Totally. Uh, but I may have to leave the town to look for some of the greens. That will get a bit dangerous, so you should stay behind if that happens. Gotcha. You were only told me to show around town after all. Once we are done with that, I'll go back, don't worry. Awesome. Well, are you ready? Let's explore. I'm ready. Thank you, Miss Yutaka. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. No need to form no miss or anything. Don't be so formal. Got it, thanks. Thank you, Yutaka. Mari is going to stick with you for a while. 
You are now free to explore fire and wise, sky truly the limit. Try searching all over Kok for the ingredients to make the soup. If you stumble upon an inaccessible place, start learning new skills or doing other events first. There are many ways to open new paths. The fuck is this a cat? There's something in here. You tackle level up twice. Wait, you level up? Oh my god, there is. You level up. And now I level up twice with that. How the hell you even get over there? I don't know how the hell you get over there. That's a chest. Good evening, Yutaka. Good evening to you too, old man. I need to find ingredients for a medicinal soap. Tell me where to find them. See, 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 can I want to her to get better? Mm, yes, where? I can't remember off the top of my head. I should look for the book that contains the knowledge under the town between po Coco Mayors. It will take a bit to find it though. I don't mind, I'll be back soon to see if you found it. You cannot get out of, uh, from there. Alright, I'm uh, already one step close to making this up. I'll go home and change while the mayor looks for the thing green is up. I'll uh, like to look around town a bit more if that's okay. Oh sure, that's fine. I'll show you some place on the way home. Thank you. Time to add home. I see another item. Wait, did I thought I saw another item in there. Level up twice. So easy to level up. Alright, I guess that's my cue. I'll go back now. Thank you so much for showing me around town. I'll come back to as soon as I find the ingredients I need. Mario returns to the university. Yutaka returns to the mayor's house. Oh no, the magazines! Yutaka level up twice, found the recipe. A lot of magazines in there. The hunt begins, let's find those ingredients pronto. Let's see, it says Super Greenwich Mountain University Shrine. Well, the university sounds easy as close enough. all. Let's try that first. I should ask the principal, maybe he knows where to look. You won't escape me for long, Greenwich, here I come. I level up twice. Delicious fizzy candy. The, those frogs got them. I thought they were enemies. Oh, what the hell is that pink one? Hotting trash bag. Forty yen. So something should have happened, but you couldn't, you cannot see what the hell it is. Oh, how the hell you pass this? There's a treasure over there. Do, 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 do. What the fuck? There was someone over here, you, because it's the sensor fortune, you cannot see what happens. That's a treasure chest. Ooh, 1000 yen. Yeah. Wait, where the hell is the principal? Am I missing something? Probably it was that thing then? Um, 
Jade Shrine, but I cannot go to Shrine. How the hell you go to that? I don't care if you are Yutaka or whatever, you're not getting through gear if it's the last thing I do. Oh, come on, let me through. Shit, they don't even let. Is there a way to get over there? No, you cannot get over there. Because you need something to attack. Do I have something? here to the what the fuck this uh, everything is destroyed in here what the fuck aha you can come over here the problem is that you cannot destroy this I wish I had a TV this large. Imagine watching a karate movie on this. Grandma doesn't care. Three thousand yen. Holy shit. Hey, I'm Mario's friend. Uh, name's Yutak. Uh, Pleased to meet you. Okay. What do you mean the boil broke down? You forgot to fix it last month, didn't you? I'm sorry, boss. I should fire you. They sound pretty busy. What the hell is he supposed to be? The fortune teller? Oh, hello, Yutaka. Yo, it's been a while, but you still recognize me. Oh, you can grow all you want, but I'll listen now it's you. I know everything thanks to my clairvoyance. Well, that's so cool. You can come see me if you ever lose your way. I'll tell you your fortune and show you the right path. Yes, behind the university, there are people there, but maybe you'll find a useful item too. How do I get to there? Did I miss something? I went to there, and I got all the items, but that was only to level up. But did I miss something? A passage, probably? Oh my god, there was this, I never do that, oh my god. Because over there you cannot go. Um, wait. Oh, uh, wait, I, but I was over here. Uh, do you need to enter again? Uh, no, she went, she walked uh, by herself and stopped it, but. Why the hell she walked by herself and then stopped it? Oh, but probably it's over here. Oh my god. I didn't even saw this place. No, you come over here. Oh my god, you can pass over here. I thought this was big. Uh... Oh my god. <sighs> Bright color gelatin. Obtain universal orb. There's a chest over there, but. 
Well, you got over there. But where the hell do I go now? Because I need to go to the shrine. But that thing uh, stops you. Let me see what she says. A man with class, I think his name is Kim. Try and visit him in his home. Man with class. <coughs> Shouldn't be this one, right? Because. It's not this one. It's not this. This one. Miss Yutaka. Yo, you weren't around, so I came looking for you. I'm my apologies. Say, can you make another sword like the old one? Why, of course. <coughs> Why, of course. Anything for you. I knew I could count on you. So, what do you need? I'll need a thick branch and something that smells. That smells bad. Last time I actually used my uncle's socks, but that's off the table now. Oh, why is that? Those very socks were washed yesterday, I'm afraid. They don't smell anymore, but I'll still be able to make a swore as long as you bring something stinky. Gosh, I'll come back once I have both of them. So I need a branch and something stinky. Um. Do I go our home to get something? Probably not. Let's see uh, why she says that it is. Oh, it, it doesn't say where the things are, okay. It's up to you to find out. Uh, where the old stuff is. It it should uh, probably shine. You cannot go for that one yet. It needs to shine for sure for you to be able to find it. Jesus, that's a lot of yen. You can go enter and place like that and steal them. Jesus. Don't see anything. Oh wait, can you go? No. Oh, what the hell? You can come over here to go. Oh. These things don't shine, so it means not over here. Oh, what the hell? It's like a hole. Huh. Didn't expect that. Talk to this guy. French fries. Uh, this don't cover HP. Hmm. 
Bu arada al kolayı bir. I don't see nothing like shining for you to find. Level up. Sneakers, ninja footwear, hair right. What the fuck? You have to go ne to next town over there, and it's gonna take you two hours by train just to get over there, so... Of course it's gonna put that pricey. Is this the same thing? It's in here. Oh, ninja footwear. Casual shirt. Holy shit, that's how you run. Zoom. Zoom. Holy shit. No entry. So, where the hell it is this? Because something stinky and uh, a stick, but I don't find anything. Oh, look at that rotting trash bag. That's but now we only need a thick branch. Sounds like something I might find around the universe, let's go. Wait, that was... Oh my god, really? That item hot and trash bag? And then you needed to talk to him? Oh, you can swim? Oh my god. You can pass through here? I thought you couldn't even swim. It has to be like a chest then. Say in the university, but quite bit the university are. Sounds like somewhere I might find around the university. But where?
I know it's something that you might find uh, near the university. Let me take out the initial footwear. Wait, you cannot disable the footwear, is it? Uh, I thought you could disable it. I don't see it anywhere. Oh my god, you can pass through gear. What the fuck? You look like you cannot pass through gear. What the hell? Oh my god. It was over there. Ah, I see you found all the necessary items. Very well then. I'll take that thick branch and rotting trash bag off you off you now. Sure, do your magic. You take and load the thick branch and the rotting trash bag. I'll take it will only take a minute. One sword coming up. I can't wait. Ten minutes later. Done, here it is. You obtained a strong sticky eggs. Whoa, it's so cool. Thank you so much, Kino. I feel like I can get ton of to a ton of new plays thanks to this. Please don't jump like that while holding the stick, it smells horrible. You tuck a slush! Okay, weeds only. I'm gonna find the other ingredients in no time at all. Okay. So now you can cut these ones, right? Oh, it's this place. Desk pad. What the fuck is that? A simple writing aid. It offers no defense whatever. What? Fake sword. Okay. Uh, where was that place? Here. I want to read that new manga. The new manga hour should arrive soon. Come on, I can't wait anymore. Where are you, mailman? The man is so lost in thought, he can't even hear Yutaka. So wait, you cannot pass through here. There's some cows. I even level up only entering in here. Okay. We cannot pass through that because there's boulders. Here we are, Kokomon. The ingredient from around here should be a plant. I bet the plant professor knows what it is. Let's go talk to him before anything else. His lab should be here to the left in the wooden hut. Off we go. To the left. This one.
I, I work here as an animal for the campsite. What the fuck? Hello, Professor. Oh, you startled me, Yutaka. We don't get many visitors up here, after all. How can we help you? Man, this place never changed. You got so many plants. Still a huge fan of Mausica. Of the Hill of the Wind, huh? Wait, about those strange witch. That blocked the way. Can you tell me you are the one who taught him how to get rid of the professor? Oh, that? That was such a joke, my dear. Plants that react so fiercely to smell don't exist. Oh, <laughs> what? But smell totally works on these weeds. Alright, Professor, I'm looking for stuff to make my um, medicinal soup for my sister. Do you know where I can find some around here? It's got to be at the top of the mountain, right? That's where you usually find that kind of stuff. At the summit, then. Thanks, I'll be going now. Keep in mind that climbing gets very steep about halfway through, so you should know the risk. Uh, what risk? You should ask an expert climber for advice about getting to the top. I'm sure he'll tell you all about it. Okay. Probably this guy? I like climbing the mountain a bit as an everyday exercise. How the hell even you get to this one? Looks like you need to be on the water. Cannot even be in the water. Probably need to talk to the expert, and probably gives you like a a rope or something. It has to be something like that. Head to the mountain's lodge uh, at the foot of Koko Mountain, Utah. He, he holds the key to climate. Head to the mountaineer's lodge. The inn, is it? Do you want to learn a new skill? It might be helpful when you want to get through some irons. It costs 10,000 gold, though. Alright then. Anti gravity shoes. You tuck a jump. You can use this to jump over indicated spots. You may not be able to reach new areas. Okay. So wait, is there a way to reach to this? Ah oh my god. In here it's impossible because you cannot do anything. You're gonna need to know how to move boulders. It's a grave. Maybe you should come back after cake sickness is gone. Interesting. What the fuck is that? This shrine of our most sacred grounds leave. The welcome to the summit. What the fuck is this? Well, it's so bright. It's got to be one of those ingredients. Golden clover. I'm gonna show it to the professors, make sure. Holy shit, jump. Professor, look at this golden clover I found. Oh, I don't believe my eyes. It really feels like it could be the ingredient for some potent medicine. 
I know, right? I have the same feeling. Hooray! I'm now one step close to fixing up my sister and making her feel all better. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just one more ingredient to go. The book I got from the Maya Shrine says shrine. What shrine, Toh? Well, it should be the shrine in the city, right? I don't think it should be that one in there. Who knows? It has to be because you have the sticks, the thing to cut, so it has to be. How the hell do you get over there? It's not like this. Can you... No, but you cannot break. Right? There's no way you can break this. Oh no, you can break. Oh, you can jump now. Yeah, I forgot about that. Because there was this place. But this is only to get money. How the hell you get even that item? Because it looks like you can go from the back. But where the back? Can you break this? Oh, you can break this. Oh. You can break that. I always forget how far the shrine is from town, but I made hmm, something feels different though. What happened here? Hey there, Mr. Priest. Oh, hello, Yutaka. Welcome. Tall, I'm afraid we are in opposition to entertain guests today. What happened? There are cops all over the place. It appears that someone vandalized the shrine. I thought I get the feeling that's not exactly the case. What do you mean? Aren't you always here? How can you not know what happened? <laughs> I'm often here, that's true, but it's not like I'm literally here all the time. I also have reasons to leave. Regardless, consider the extent of the damage. I can't believe I didn't notice anything what's going on. Especially me, of all people. Why is that? Hmm. Truth to be told, it's a bit hard to explain. Let's just say that I feel like something bad is happening. Something bad? Hey, I can help out. Let me help. Is there anything I can do? Please tell me. I'm still looking into my myself, so it all depends on what I'll be able to find out. Besides, I'm sure you came here for other reasons, isn't that right? Alright, the medicine is soup for sis. I got to look for one in of the ingredients here and around the shrine. An ingredient? Hmm. I know what you are looking for, but it's inside the shrine itself. And given the situation, I'm afraid even I can't go fetch it for you right now. Even the priest can't go inside. That seems to be the case. I've tried asking this gentleman again and again, but they just ignore me. Dang, I thought you could go in for me. From what I understand, all the damage is outside the shrine, while the interior remains untouched. A quick visit to retrieve something should be pro perfectly fine. I'm gonna ask around and see if uh, someone's got an idea. Yes, you do that. The ingredient you are looking for, a uh, good luck bun, is inside the shrine. You, we only need to gain access to it. Okay. Ding ding ding, new quest acquired. Yutaka needs to come up with a way to get to the shrine. Try asking people. Cannot enter through there. I'm gonna see if the fortune teller has something to say. Don't forget to go home every now and then. Is it the sister? She has something. What are you doing out of bed, sis? Are you better? The symptoms are calmed down a bit for now, yes. When it's like this, it's like I'm not even sick. I feel right, fine right now, thanks. What a strange sickness. Are you check on me? Actually, I want to ask you something. A way to distract the guard. Hmm. Oh yes, it's very easy. Just be serious when talking. That's it? I guess I'll try. A new skill, it doesn't even say what is the skill, oh no. What can it be? You may now have a shrine, thanks. Oh wow! <laughs> you have access immediately. Oh, this has to be the good luck burn. I mean, what else? It even got luck right on it. I'm sorry God of Cork, I'm only borrowing these 12 C's. Ah, uh, that's last ingredient for the soap. I just got to home and prepare it now. Dun, 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 dun. The game is like, you have done it! You've done a quest! Congratulations! Okay. There we go. Prepared soup. Well, that's all the ingredients. Let's make that soup. Wait. Shoot! 
I don't have a pot to cook in it. Pots, pots. Do they sell pots somewhere? Let's go buy a cooking pot. A cooking pot. It has to be in here, right? Does the fox tell her nose? You can buy one at the convenience store. Oh my, is the pot you bought ruined and useless? In that case, you should go and see a good friend of mine specialized in polishing things. She doesn't like sunlight very much, so you'll find him underground. Well, if you put that light, fine, you can go. Okay. There's nobody in here. It says a friend of her. This place, what the fuck? Oh, there's a boulder you cannot pass. There's nothing here. Park Road Secret. Oh, you reached the Park Road secret map. Oh. This is a secret. Oh no, I got. I, I need to get this over there, I forgot about that. Park Road Orb. Oh. These are only orbs. I wonder what else is that. Probably you need to get all of them when you get an achievement. Coming all the way to the stage is always kind of exciting. You can really smell the concrete here. Maybe it's because of the train tracks stretching out forever. I never know uh, these parts a lot of time. Wait, I think Mochan lives somewhere nearby, maybe. up a lot now scram beach please I can pass and there's no body welcome to the outskirts achievement Cannot do this one. In here, it even shows how to do it, but I don't. I cannot push the the boulders. I still don't have the ability to do the the boulder, but in there it shows the how to do it. Rusted pot. But then she says somewhere on the on underground it can do something. Mm, 
now uh, like underground could it be here haha <laughs> can you fix this versus pot for me sure thing wait here for a bit this is boring here you go great thanks there we go got the fucking uh, pot to cook how the hell you don't have a uh, pot in your house like how the hell you even cook how you talk how you do even cook jesus okay i've got all the grease let's make that soup happen i still don't know how the i still don't know the rest but you know what if a pot is good i bet it's impossible to fail let's get cooking why it's like she's hammering there we go There, done. Anna syrup soup. Gotta give it to C's before it gets cold. Okay. C's, wake up, C's. Yutaka, got your mad soup right here, C's. Drink it. Ah, uh, medicine. You made this for me? Thank you. Oh, better have it before it gets cold down. Yeah. How are you feeling? What the fuck? Sis? What the hell? Why the hell it made that noisy rumble? I'm back! What the fuck? Hooray! Look, I can talk normally now. Thank you so much, Yutaka. I'm so glad you're done fine now, sis. It makes all the trouble of finding greens so worth it. Let's play together now that better. It's been so long, hasn't it? You tackle learning new skills, sisterly bond. Yeah, because now you're gonna be able to switch between the sisters. One, sometimes you tackle will be able to do something that the, uh, the sister cannot, and then sometimes you need to switch from you tackle to the sister because sometimes she is able to do something that you tackle cannot. And so, thanks to Itaka many efforts, Cake was successfully healed. Part 1, done. Bumpkin Doctor Achievement. After the event of that terrible day, night came and went. Yes, this is the Akan Residence. Yes, yes? Ah, I see. Alright, I'll let Itaka know, thank you. That was a call from the universe, letting various families know there will, will no lecture there were no lectures that day. The professor, the one who made the calls, didn't explain why at all. At the time, the police was investigating Mossack's whereabouts, as well as interviewing witnesses about the damage caused by no party at the shrine, and expressly asked them not to disclose either things. Well, I guess another day of fooling around for me. Right, I got this book from the mayor to make that soup. Now that's easy, fine, I should return to it. Hey Gramps, oh hello there you talk. what's the matter? I found the ingredients, I made the soup and cake is good now, so I came back to return the book to you. You talk I returned the book of secrets to the mayor. Very good, thank you. So cake is doing better, good, very good indeed. It's nice to have the three of you back in town. What do you mean? Mom's not back yet. Oh, is that right? Oh strange, I've heard so from some people that I has already returned. What? Really? Yeah, she's apparently been seen around the station, maybe she just came back this morning, who knows? Oh, I see. Then I'm gonna get Sisa meet her on the way. Pachu! Crush the evil scheme. Shine bright. Sisterly bond. Alright, I feel so much better now. I'm healed, thank goodness. I think it's finally time to step out of the house again. I've been basically holed up in here since I came back, but I still feel kinda weak. Well, I'm no fitness monster like you, Taka, but I'm sure a little walk will do me good. Besides, it's not like staying home is an option. Sis? Sis! Mom's at the station, I think. Let's go get her together. Huh? Sis? Did he, she leave? Hmm, maybe she went out for a walk or something. Huh? But she said we were gonna play together. It seems that you talk and can't miss each other. Oh well, I'm gonna get Mom by myself. Go to the station to meet Aya. <coughs> so where the hell the sister went? Mother! 
Oh hey mom, you really are back. I don't know. I didn't know whether people were joking or not when they were saying you were here. Huh? Oh, you are Yutaka. Ah, uh, what? Of course it's me. Hey, well, I don't have time for you right now. Huh? What? You are me, right? I have things to do. Huh? Well, see ya. The previous day near Coco Shrine. Uh, what's going on? What's happening? This ball of light, is this the treasure? Is that a voice? Where does it come from? Ugly, ugly. Yeah, I must be imagining it. Ugly doesn't work. Let's try this then. Mega ugly! Shh, not give me that up, but listen here. I'm not gonna let some stupid appear. Apparition call me ugly, so you'll stop right now. Who are you anyway? I was looking for buried treasure. I'm not important enough to have a name, I'm just a spirit who lives on shrine grounds, but enough about me, I must somehow show my gratitude to you. Oh, you can feel gratitude? Don't didn't think you had manners. Everybody knows how good people don't serve manners, you bastard. But you do serve gratitude for breaking my seal, you're lucky that I'm in good mood. How about this, I can make one of your wish come true, but only one. A wish? That deal sounds awfully familiar. God, what God? Oh cool, what kind of good things? Nope, I'm good. I think I'll come and thank God, the god when something good happens instead. Sounds more right. Right, I've heard you talk, talk about a god grizzly. I wish. Is this a god too? Is it the same one even? No, I don't think so. I mean, look at it, but it's got to be something close. I just dug up something even better than treasure. Hey, oh. Now that's unpleasant laughter. I'm sort of an expert on evil laughs. Has your negativity affect your brains too? Shut up, how will that even work? So how about that wish? I want a hundred million yen. Impossible, do I look like a bank? I don't have savings either, and since I'm no printing bro either, I can't crank out bills for you. You are a freaking ghost. Hello, why are you so pragmatic? Do you even do you have other wish? Fine, then make me beautiful, the most beautiful woman in Coco. I wanna be gorgeous. I can't do that either. I'm afraid I forgot my plastic surgeon skills in my other life. Besides a hole in the ground, it's hardly sanitary. <laughs> Is there anything at all you can do? No, no, let's calm down. I can't make you beautiful per se, but I can make something very similar happen instead. Huh? How similar? You'll see soon enough. Ha! Uh, what was that? I can hear the ghost voice in my head. Get out of here. Are you sure about that? See, we can possess anyone we want to make thanks to my spiritual body. Really? But how? I can't give you money, nor can I perform surgery. But I can possess people, that's what spirits like me do. Mosaku knows that I is not in Coco from what she heard. She'll be at Yutaka's grandmother's house, and so she makes her way toward the place together with the spirit. Oh. Hey, Fauner, I can't believe I can sense life with this body, and the closer I am, the stronger I can feel their presence. And I kinda guess you could do it, just. But being able to go through while still feels so weird. Spirits really have it easier. Huh? Finding whatever they want, breaking to place like nothing. So this is the one you are after. Let me just make this clear one last time. This is my way to thank you. But it's not permanent. You won't be able to stay in that body for the rest of your life. Quite contrary. In fact, it's a short-lived arrangement true and true. Good. As long as you are fully aware, let us begin. Huh? What? Uh, I didn't think it... It will be this short. No, we are not done yet. Is she resisting to possession? Wait, is this still the barrier? No, it can't possibly reach this far. She must have an amulet of sorts or divine protection. What are you waiting for? Come on, get it on. I know, I know. Shut up and let me fox. It's a proper protection to be sure. But it must have been with her for a very long time and it's weakened by its age. I should be able to break through. Ha! Still stronger than I thought, but not strong enough. Ah, okay. Amazing, is this me? It worked out in the end. Hehe, <laughs> this is all liberate. Thank you so much, buddy. No need to thank me, this is my way to thank you, remember? Now let's make something clear before. That possession cost me a lot more energy than I anticipate. I'm going to sleep for a while if you don't mind. Well, that bad, huh? Sure, got it. Possessions won't normally leave me 6,000. Am I still weakened since I was set free so recently? But it doesn't matter. I don't have the time to think about that right now. Now listen, there's something I want you to do for me. I originally, originally planned to do it myself with Possessed Bot, but alas, I need to rest and sleep now and I can't do it. Yeah, I figure you won't exhaust yourself like that just to thank me. Well, what do you want me to do? 
All you have to do is draw some marks to encircle Coco Shrine. I'm gonna send how they should look like direct to your mind. Oh yeah, got it. That's an easy job. Uh, so just got to write these things around Coco. Pretty much everywhere but at the shrine itself. Yes, it's up to you now. Roger, you made me my wish come true. So it's the best I can do. Give and take, you know? Oh, the voice in my head is gone. Did he actually go to sleep? The plan's easy. First, I'll draw these mark things all over Coco. I'll be mega popular soon. The next morning, Mosaic leaves the house inside Aya's body, completely ignoring the worried remarks of Yutaka's grandma. She takes the train and quickly returns to Coco. And now back to the present. Mom was kind of was being kind of weird. I should ask around. Maybe someone knows what to do. Ask someone about that. How do all these people know about that? First of all, let me go get this. I forgot about this one. I can feel an alignment level on rest from the station. Are you already there? In that case, you'll have better luck at the shrine. Probably talk to the priest. You talk, I have very, very bad news. Oh no, what happened? I was looking around the place after the police left. It's about that wooden box over there. Whoever did this, they took that out of the ground. A box? Did it have something important inside? In a sense, yeah, something bad was still in that box. So what happens now that it's open? The evil influence of the bad thing inside is going to affect Coco. People will have really bad luck, for example, or they will start acting strange. On top of that, if that evil seeps into the ground, some weird or even poisonous plants might start to grow all over town. Anyway, bad things will happen. What? Oh no, could it already be happening? Oh, oh my goodness. That may very well be the case. In I can't be entirely sure, but it's possible that the evil influence is already affecting Coco. No, can we fix it? Fix it? Hmm. Well, there's a way, but... Um... Can I ask for your help in this matter, Yutaka? Yeah, of course. What can I do? I have the feeling that someone's carving red marks all over town right now. I want you to find them and destroy them for me. Red marks, huh? Okay, but why are you... Are they doing it? Do you know? Remember that bad thing from Vox? Its karma is its karma is bound to the shrine, which means it can't stray too far from this place and leave town for now. The red marks being carved all over the place are called curse marks, and they are able to twist and change this karma. Once the process is over, the bad spirits will be able to leave Coco for good. Curse mark? Karma? I don't really get, but I think I get it. All I have to do is erase this red mark, and it will be fine. Uh, sorry for the weird explanation, but you got the gist of it, and that's good enough. Find those red marks and use them, these to erase them. Yo, are these erasers? Wow, they are so cool and shiny. Oh, there's something right on them too. Each eraser is going to disappear once you use it. You can check which eraser you have left at any time to find out which place still have a curse mark. Got it. I'm going to give you this charm as well. I'm sure it will be useful to you in your search for the curse marks. Oh, a lucky charm, thank you, Mr. Priest. But how is a charm gonna help me find those red marks? What does it do? It's a very special charm that helps you draw out your inner strength. It should make you much stronger. I'll probably to push the boulders. Okay. My inner strength? Whoa, that sounds so cool. Yeah, push big boulders found all over a cocoa around. Roll them out of the way to open your puffs. I feel super strong thanks to your charm. Alright, I'm will. I'll be going now, Mr. Priest. I'll find those head marks and erase them all. Very well. I'll stay here and try to keep an eye on the movements of the bad thing. I think I have an idea of what I'll try to do once all the curse marks are gone. Okay, leave the marks to me. In fact, there's one in every map except for the shrine itself. Look for their ominous head, go and find them all. Hmm, I should try to find the head mark in town first. I can't wait to try one of these holy erasers out. Alright, where the heck did Cisco? I wanted to ask her to help me out so we can get it done quicker, but she's not home. Whatever, it's okay, I'm still going to do my best, and if I ever need her help, I'm sure she's going to swoop in and save the day. You can always sister bond skill. 
By using this skill from menu, you can swap between Keiko and Yutaka anytime you want. If you can't seem to find a way to forward with Yutaka, maybe you could try your luck with Keiko. But in she shot, time to find Gekka's mark in town. So how do you switch? Uh, so, hope you enjoy some gameplay of uh, Country Pumpkin Yutaka, like... It's a cool, it's a cool game, uh, you know, we... I don't know if you, even if you fight, it's like you need that uh, thing, the, that stick to pass to destroy those plants and uh, then you get uh, new skills, as you saw, like uh, the skill to jump, uh, to, uh, the skill to push boulders, this the sisterly bond skill to switch between the sisters. Uh, so I don't know if you fight against monsters or not, uh, but uh, it's a nice game. If you play the other one, I, like I said, I don't know if it's like a sequel or not, this one. But if you play the other one, probably you're gonna enjoy this one because probably it follows the same uh, uh, pattern. I don't know because I never played the other one. Uh, so, but it's a nice one. Of course, if you want to get all the content that the game has to offer, you need to get the uncensored patch from the Kagura Games website. Uh, like that, you can see everything because as you saw, sometimes there's things that will be black screen, like uh, leveling up twice. That's not. I don't think that's something that should happen. I think that's something that uh, will, that you cannot see in the sensor version. That's why it gives you like uh, two levels. So, if you want to see what happens in some of the screens, you need you need to get the uncensored patch uh, to see all the content. Like, so, hope you guys enjoy here and see you guys next time.